That is the monitor button on this Wotion. And what that does is it opens the squelch. Every little HT, most everything, every HT has a little monitor button on the side. You can press it and it opens the squelch. Um, I had somebody ask me if I could explain the squelch function. That's basically uh, wide open right there. Squelch is, um, you can think of it as a noise gate. Um, actually a variable noise gate. You can, um, each radio is a little bit different on how it functions, but a variable noise gate. So we have signals all over the place, just constant atmospheric noise, static, um, man-made signals, all kinds of stuff out there just all the time. And this is what that is. It's just static. Well, when somebody transmits on that frequency, you hear a signal coming through. Um, and what the squelch does, it allows you to suppress weaker signals. And um, so when you have the squelch turned up to maximum, that gate is completely closed, the noise gate. So it's a variable noise gate that signals are always coming through. So you don't want random, most of the time, you don't want just random um, noise coming through your receiver. So you turn the squelch up. And when you want to hear the weaker signals, you um, turn the squelch down, so you, you open it. So maximum is closed, minimum is open. And then when you, when you hit the monitor key, that's fully open. Your squelch is fully open. You're gonna hear everything on that frequency. So, um, just like, like that right there my scanner is going it's just scanning and the squelch is up so it's turned up so it's not hearing anything it's not hearing the sh the weaker signals or static but when a signal comes through like that air traffic came through it was a the signal was strong enough at the level that i have my squelch set to break that squelch to come through that it will let the the signal come through so it's a noise gate, um, maximum is closed, minimum is open, and then monitor is fully open. So just this is a example of um, how this is useful to have the monitor button. And I wasn't using this, I was on my, my little orange Wotion back there. Just yesterday we were on a road trip um, little just taking a day and going hiking and stuff anyhow we were coming back uh to town and there was an accident on the highway and traffic was backed up for quite a while and so i got on 146.52 and i just threw out a call and i had a couple people call back to me i asked does anybody throw my call sign does anybody have any information on the uh, standstill the traffic jam here on what's going on and a couple of people got back but there was a couple of signals that were strong signals and then there was a couple of signals that were coming in and out they were just strong enough to break the squelch just barely but it was um, they were basically unreadable so what I had to do was to open my squelch up just turn it down so i could hear all signals and i was able to hear a couple other stations we had a, a conversation between three or four stations but a couple of them i was not able to hear until i opened up the squelch the stronger base station i was able to hear no problem with the squelch closed so um which is pretty handy so if you hear if you're talking to someone just HT to HT simplex and you're having a hard time hearing them and if they're they're cutting in and out 
just hit your monitor button and you'll get a little bit further distance so you'll be able to hear them maybe their signal isn't strong enough to break the squelch but when it's wide open you'll be able to hear them so weak signals you definitely want to have the squelch open and stronger signals you can have the squelch turned up uh, all the way so if you ever hear like oh I don't know if you ever did CB you you had uh, truckers come through town and uh, those guys would have their squelch all the way up and they wouldn't hear anybody except for who they were talking to so uh, and even if you tried to get back to them you wouldn't be able to get to them because their squelch was maximum and that's what they wanted they didn't really care about you know anything else except for communicating truck to truck that's usually what they would do is turn the squelch up so they didn't hear a bunch of static well on HF um, usually when I'm scanning around I have my squelch all the way open so so I can hear uh, turn that off uh, so I can hear all of the weak signals long distance weak signals on HF I can tune them in so um, but when you turn the squelch at uh, maximum you can't hear anything except for strong signals so I'm going to show you let's transition to this thing so I'm going to show, show you on, you on oh, I got to turn, turn my, my one, one moment. moment okay sorry about that I had uh, the mic on so uh, on this Wotion I'm going to show you this is similar to a lot of radios these days on how the squelch operation works but um, what you do is you go into menu and I already had it set to squelch and you just push menu and you scroll up and down it has transmit power this is a Wotion uh, KG 935G so GMRS radio but this is the same on my ham radios or most of them there's some sort of similar squelch function but you you go to menu and then squelch and then you push menu again and you can see my squelch level is set at four and you can just type uh, up and down arrows and it'll let you go up to nine and back to zero so zero squelch if I was to save that that means there's no squelch at all I'm just getting signal all signals coming through so I'm gonna go back and set it to four but if you say I set it to nine that's the maximum squelch so it's going to take a stronger signal to break that squelch and um, usually on a radio that the squelch function actually works pretty well um, your your settings will matter on like a like on our, our beloved UV5R the Baofangs the squelch really doesn't work that well <laughs> so you could have it set on one or you could have it set on nine and you're still gonna get interference and um, that's another thing to uh, talk about but um, you get uh, let me go back over here but yeah that's the basic functions of the squelch on most radios you just go to menu squelch and then you turn your squelch up and down I like it on, on these radios I like it about four or five uh, just depends on how much you know you can dial it in to whatever you're you're wanting for your situation every situation is gonna be a little bit different so if you're just talking your buddies real close you can turn your squelch up really high and get rid of the uh, um, interference so what happens is when I was saying that you, you like on the bow fangs you get the um, interference that the squelch doesn't really work that well what happens is you just you get a signal comes in um, and sometimes they're a strong signal and it comes in through the antenna the antenna brings it down into the 
front end circuitry. It's what I call, or I refer to as normally as the front end. But it, it from here, it goes to the circuitry and that squelch circuit, that noise gate. And there's a, I think there's what they call oscillators and filters and mixers inside the circuitry. That's a kind of over my head a little bit, but um, so within that circuitry, sometimes that circuitry is lesser quality and it doesn't work that well. The filters don't filter out uh, interference that well. So you get a lot of signals coming through, even if you have your squelts all the way up, it doesn't matter. <laughs> You're going to get that. And another uh like uh say even on my yesu i've got a mobile yesu and and especially like on a handheld these antennas can come off and uh on my yesu or sometimes i'll run the ht in the mobile and i will connect a large external antenna to this and it will gather so much signal more signal that the front end of the radio than that circuitry will be able to handle so the filters and the uh, um, oscillators and all that stuff in there they they can't separate it out it just overloads it and the, the distortion comes through so um, that's something to think about if you have an external antenna and so on the higher quality radios like this one actually is really good my Wotion, um mate is really good my any tone is pretty good uh seven seven eight that's that's really good but like this little Baofeng, just the, the old uv5 r's they don't they don't filter out that um uh distortion very much so anyhow that's kind of the basics of it you guys you can look it up every radio has a little bit different system there's different receivers there's uh super heterodyne there's um direct conversion there's double conversion there's triple conversion there's all kinds of stuff and just because something is super heterodyne this is kind of a misunderstanding of it or it doesn't mean it's necessarily that much better so you can have very good direct conversion radios they work excellent just as good just as well as a super heterodyne uh, receiver but uh, so don't be afraid of that but some of them like the Baofengs are much cheaper and they don't uh, separate those uh, signals and interference and the squelch operation doesn't work that w you know that well on them so that's the basics of it you guys and I uh, hope that helps a little bit it's something um, but remember a good idea one of the main things is when you're trying to reach uh, distant signals open your squelch up all the way when you hear the static that means your squelch is open like the all you're letting all the signals in and when you turn the squelch up to maximum you're you're closing you're suppressing those signals only the stronger signals will come through so that's your basics of it you guys hope that's uh Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. I got a couple other cool videos coming up. And um, I appreciate your guys' support. And it's been great. So have a good one. We'll see you next time.